So this article comes from The Motley Fool. Why shares of First Majestic Silver are losing luster today. Now a little bit about First Majestic. It is one of the pure silver miners out there. Uh, publicly traded. Has a great CEO. Actually dabbled in the stock years ago. Buying shares but also buying options um, against my shares as well. And if silver ever turns around, um, I do anticipate First Majestic um, hopping on for the ride. You know, some folks out there say that silver can hit um, three digits in the future, right? Silver is not only a, a industrial metal, but also um, somewhat of a hedge along with uh, gold. Um, so this article is saying that a couple of years ago, they bought a gold mine in Nevada. Um, however, they had to uh, at least suspend uh, mining activities um, as it wasn't uh, proving to be profitable and there were many reasons for that uh, one of them was the, the feed rate um, you know inflationary costs as of late um, some contractor inefficiencies and weather uh, we've been seeing the pineapple rivers I think they call it out in Cali um, uh, we've seen many many feet of, of snow in the Sierra um, mountains out west so I can understand the extreme weather events affecting mining activities so let's go straight to the um, stock so on this news price sold off um, and uh, you know it's becoming um, an even potential great opportunity to get in the stock at some point if you think um, silver so is bullish longer term all right, so this is the monthly chart, and um, going back to 2011, we just draw the the highs, and let's uh, look for the you know if we just draw the highs and the the lows, and like I said, you can see that it's becoming a, um, at a level where you you almost have to buy. Right. Um, even if you play the the range, uh, you know you could have this could have been a double top, but you know, all right. So you buy the lows when it comes back down, right? Buy the lows again. Uh, potentially, it's going to uh, spike up in price once again. But at what level? So let's go down to the uh, weekly chart. You know, conservative investors they can just wait for potential trend line break let's see if we can do a trend line here all right um, yeah I mean conservative investors wait for a close above the downward monthly trend line break potentially go long hopefully we can see price move into the range uh, I like the foot out level only because it's kind of in the middle um, of the let's mark that as green for potential buy you know this four dollar level is in between the the range that I grossly drew. All right, so let's go down to the weekly chart. Um, I was just looking at this Doji candle here. Uh, this red candle, not a lot of volume, but you know the level worked right. You had a drop in price, a Doji candle, and then another drop. And that did work. Um, all right. So, where's price headed next? So, if you look at this candle here, it was red all the way down, right? So, and then closed um, much higher in the middle of that candle. So, there's some buyers that did step in, right? Maybe they're sensing that at these levels, um, you know, it's price selling at a discount. So this candle is green, uh, signifying buyers. Just want to see if there's anything below. I kind of like, kind of like this area here, which was good in the past. If I just draw, um, kind of isolate the zone. You know that kind of what hit once, twice, right? Maybe that's the 
maybe that's the area where um, we're going to see a reaction. You know, I could say that it's used up due to this um, green candle here. So if there's anything below that, uh, all right. So here's the play. I'm not going to go down to the daily chart. I'm going to see if price can continue to, to um, decline to the. Uh, I'm just going to mark off the area. Uh, take this off. Between four dollars and five dollars. What I'm hoping for is um, price to, to continue to move down. Potentially, eventually breaking the downtrend line, pulling back where the downtrend line serves as support before moving higher. Right? You can see that this is a W pattern, so a break above um, the apex would be a buy. Um, let's just pull out to the monthly chart. That's kind of what we're looking at. I'm actually going to put a an alert. Um, in between that area and let's see what happens over the coming months thanks for watching subscribe please like the video